I really believe, Jimmy, I think you need a young, enthusiastic coach that can be on the road recruiting, 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 and then some more recruiting. Because when you watch the SASU team, especially on the defensive side against U of A, aside from the five turnovers, uh, you look at defense, they need they need dudes on that side of the ball. I agree. You need linemen, defensive linemen. You need offensive linemen. You need a number one, I feel, go recruit the best athletes in the state of Arizona. Mm -hmm. Expand that out to Texas, to Southern California, going north, uh, going to the Midwest. you got to have your guys go out and win. You're going to have to go out and win that, that, uh, that living room, if you will. Now, all that being said, there's still a lot of money involved, is there not? There is. As far as the NIL is concerned, right. that's got to be beefed up by this ASU program. Transfer you, portal. You transfer portal, which started today. Yes. And we saw as of, uh, about an hour ago, McNamara, the quarterback at Michigan, has entered into the transfer portal. He has. So you have got to button down, and you cannot tell me that this department does not have the money to go ahead and at least – pay those players on this ASU football team like they did at Texas Tech. Mm -hmm. And you can't tell me Texas Tech's got more money than Arizona State University where they paid their players twenty five grand a piece if you started and finished the season. Correct. In good what's that good sitting with the program, mm -hmm. with your grades and everything, you're yep. gonna get twenty five grand. There you go. You mean to tell me ASU can't do that minimally with their guys coming on plus other going out and finding major sponsors for your top dudes to keep them there at Arizona State University. So the priorities, Jimmy, I feel aren't even on the field priorities. There are a lot of off the field issues, recruiting, NIL, mm -hmm. making sure you get the right staff, making sure you get the right individuals to go ahead and com complete that. And I hope that Michael Crow understands what it's going to take to build the foundation and the base for this ASU football program because what happened down at Tucson – with the five turnovers and yep. losing that game at Tucson um, was, I'm not going to say embarrassing, but it kind of got to the rock bottom place of where this team needs to go. Yeah, but Manuch, you had two mediocre teams playing, both of them with losing records. Both of them had been blown out in certain situations. And that's why I thought it made for a highly entertaining game because they were on the same level with each other. Well, highly entertaining, yes, because yeah, the, the worst of the who's the worst of the worst that there, wins. There you go. Okay, so you got one team throws for five has has five hundred and seventy six yards of total offense, the other four hundred and seventy six. What we're watching for is nothing but pride. And and quite frankly, ASU still had their chances they did, yeah. to win that game. But U of A deservedly getting the turnovers, making the scores, wins that game. Hey, you won five years in a row, had a chance to win sure. six. It's yep. right out there. Yep. But beyond that, Jimmy. This program's not even on the second tier of college football. Okay. I don't know if they're on the third tier of college football. Who, you know, Dillingham has got to make this program. Let me start here. Okay. Michael Crow. Are you listening, Michael? <laughs> Michael Crow, <laughs> along with Ray Anderson, have got to make this football program relevant once again. And I mean relevant. They have got to go ahead and put the money, time, effort, energy into this football program to get this back on track, to get them within the top, oh, I'll say top 50, mm -hmm. and then you work it in the top 25, and then you work it in, in, in from there. Those are some of the things I think when I look at what Kenny Dillingham is going to have to do and this program is going to have to do in reference to making them relevant again. You look at this record, three and eight, or excuse me, three and nine, yes. not going to bode well very well for a lot of the Sun Devil faithful that are still out there in the Sun Devil alumni. And as far as getting butts and seats, those are a lot of things you're going to have to do. And that brings us to our State 48 Roofing. It's your call question of the day. And Three. for a free quote repair installation, head to state48roofing.com. Follow them on social media by searching hashtag sexy roof status. <laughs> so here's the question. Did ASU make the right choice in hiring Kenny Dillingham, Billy Billy, as its new head football coach? Two options. One, yes. Need his energy to no needed experience. Just go to Rock and Minucci on Twitter and cast your vote, and we will revisit that uh, as the show continues. How long will he be coaching? That should be our question next week or tomorrow. How long will Dilly Dilly mm -hmm. be the head coach at Arizona State? You don't think he's a lifer for this, Rock? You don't think he's going to be a is, lifer? He, he is going to turn this thing around very quickly. Like Lincoln Riley did at USC. And he is gone. And he's going to get paid. 
and I'm okay with that. I love the Two. fact he's brought in some good assistants. Yep. We all love Charlie Ragel, but I think the fact that he is a guy that spent some time, at, you know, at Florida State, right? Um, at Oregon, Oregon. Yep. <laughs> These big time schools where they have boosters. Sure. We all can make. We can make a case that Arizona State does not have boosters. Well, they got to go find the money somewhere, Rock. If they're going to compete, if they're going to take That's this, what I'm saying they got to go find okay, the money. You know, every school, every AD wants to find the money. But if the money's not there, they've got the money. Not they, no, they don't because if they did, we would not be in this situation right. as Sun Devil fans. They're the largest university in okay. the United States. One. And they have been for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So why haven't they found the money yet? Because I don't think they wanted to incorporate the money over to the football program. Now I think Come they're on. have to. No, Rocky. If they Kush days, people, all they do is the uh, Sun Devil alum talk about the Frank Gush days, how great they were, and how they want to bring this program back to that. You can't that tell me feeling seventy five thousand students that are at, at ASU, the fees and all that stuff that they've got fees, tuition, books, all that, but they can't can't offer more money over to this program. I I don't disagree with that, but they haven't. What makes them? What makes it different today than yesterday uh, or five years ago, ten years ago, twenty years ago? I've been here thirty. I would hope. I would hope that this time around, I would only hope, Rock. That the Nap Lawrences, who are big contributors of this football program, and some of the others out there, there's one. There would be that would go to Michael Crow, Michael Crow, not Ray Anderson, and say, "Look, Michael, if you want to get this program relevant again, you want to make Arizona State with all this, put your money where your mouth is, Michael Crow, and let's put incorporate money for more NIL for the for every player to get twenty five grand a year minimum, get the NIL. Now all of a sudden you're on par when mm -hmm. you have these coaches go to a Go into a cow into a living room and go, hey, we love your center wide receiver. That's well and good, but Texas Tech's guaranteeing him twenty five grand. How much can you guarantee him? That's not even nil. That's just twenty five grand. But well, there was that here, Manuch. There was the million dollars. That's that's not for every player there. Okay, that, that but was it's an nil. Darn close, but if you look at the nil, the top players are making the big bucks above and beyond everyone else on that roster. Get it? I understand. So that's where you got. If you're going to compete. With getting four and five star guys, then you got to go NIL plus whatever other money. Absolutely, you, can you have to, and that's on Michael Crow. Randers got to go on the look. boosters, and there aren't. There's only one nap. That what I'm trying to say, boosters. Yeah, what are you saying? I'm saying this boosters. is no different. You can, you and I, Minuch, without <laughs> no disrespect, Jimmy. I got you, you and I, Minuch, have been doing the show for 18 years, right. and we've had three or four coaching changes right. in that three or four years, and the show. As they hire somebody, is the same today as it was okay. years before. Was boosters, boosters, boosters. Okay. Where's the money? Where's the Let money? Me say and this, this team and this and this alumni group wants to win, but they need to put but they need to put their money where their okay. mouth is, and boosters, that has not happened. Boosters aside, take them out. Of, Michael Crow needs to go into his coffers at ASU and kick that money but in. Don't you think they've done some of that when they've redone the stadium? They uh, redid oh, the weight sure. room. That's the yeah, stuff that that's, yeah. that's what okay. you're talking about, right? That, that's the intangible. That's outside. So if you want to make a good product on the field, this is what you're going to have to do you again. You need a big-time coach. You, need a big, you, get a, you got a coach. Okay, but you need a big-time coach. Okay, you don't need a big-time coach to do this. You need the money to go get the rock. It's recruit, recruit, recruit. If I'm going to go compete, and get that five-star kid who's already guaranteed. If Nick Saban came to ASU today, would this team be would be a team that's going to go for a championship? He's got to go because he, he, he brings them in because okay. he's a big time coach. He, and you know what? He big time get, coaches recruit. I get it, Rock. But I'm just saying that if you're going to, I love the hire, Manuch. If you, I'm saying, Rock, I'm just saying he's not going to be here that long. Okay. If you're going to get Kenny Dillingham, you got to go support him by get, putting that money out there so he can go they get those done, players. Like they, like, like they said with Herm, with Cutter, with Dennis Erickson, I could go on and on. Yeah, but now boosters, forget the boosters, Todd Graham, forget that you got. Hey, hey, Michael, we gotta get a break. You gotta get the money into this ASU program. Period. Yeah, you thought the break. Stuck to Rudy Carpenter yeah. next.